Hello there! Once again, it's Anton from Anton Obey. Thank you for stopping by the collection room. This is still the collection room. Uh, today we are looking at uh, a new WWE figure. This is Indy Hartwell. Um, and this is Series 134. This thing just looked really good and I thought I'd pick it up. Um, I am not technically that familiar with uh, Indy herself. Um, but as you know, I do love to, to kind of keep up with wrestling a little bit and keep up with some of the new figures that they put out and this would be one of them so let's take a look and see what we got here pop this thing off the card this is one of the few figures that's left that still sold bubble pack on card and i love that oh let's take a look here I might have you just stand for a moment. I will zoom in just a touch. <clears throat> so this is just a basic. Um, and even though I say just a basic, this is the second basic I picked up recently that actually comes with accessories that is actually it's pretty fancy. Uh, she comes with her own little vest. Extra long hair. The vest has paint on it. Uh, definite, you know, quality accessory there when you fill it all out. Anyway, uh, this being a basic, it does have pretty standard articulation. And my goodness, she is very tall, very tall figure. Anyway, she just has like a single pretty basic ball joint at the shoulder, no upper bicep cut or anything like that. Very stiff, uh, almost 90 degree elbows. That's pretty standard with the uh, women's action figures. And on some of these, argh, they are so stiff. I'd almost recommend almost always running these under hot water uh, just because you don't want anything to break. And then she just gets a uh, wrist pivot, which if I remember right, the last one I got was uh, had, had a lot better uh, articulation. Anyway, uh, you get a waist rotation. The head is on a ball, so it does move around much, but you're going to have this big hair going to get in the way of that. So you have a pretty stiff limited ball joint up at the hip. I mean, I guess you call that a ball joint. It is on a, on a peg, a ball peg. And then you're going to get single jointed knees, which aren't going to move much because they're going to take some hot water to get these things flexed up. And they are going to be hidden behind the uh, knee pads. And then other than that, you're just going to get an ankle rotation. And that's pretty much it. Not a lot of articulation going, but a, but a good looking figure uh, anyway. I don't think it, I mean, it, uh, is the likeness good? I'd say the likeness, the scan was really good. I say that the paint app on the face was probably not that strong. Like, uh, like there's definitely some, some blush that, that was on the face, her face that was not added to the figure. And I think that that's the biggest difference in my opinion. Could have been a little bit better painted, but I have a feeling the, the the scan was good. And I know some people are just hard to scan. I always think of like Randy Orton. Uh, all of my Randy Orton figures, they're, they, I mean, they look like Randy Orton, but like, is the scan that great? Not as great as it is with some people. It's just Randy Orton has a hard head to scan. And I think, uh, I think sometimes people just have a difficult uh, profile to get absolutely dead on. Anyway, like I said, that is that is pretty much all I got on this figure. It has great paint. Uh, it was it was inexpensive and, and like I said, she is very tall. These are very long legs and she's well proportioned. I only say that because I have gotten quite a few uh, WWE women's figures in particular where the legs are too short, the torso is too long, and they look just just wrong, like a little goofy. Um, she is very well proportioned and very well proportioned for a tall person to begin with. So um, that's it. That's pretty much all I got on this one. Uh, if you are a fan of Indy Hartwell at all, or if you are just a fan of, of wrestling figures like I am, and you got to keep up with the new stuff, uh, this is an easy pickup because for the price, this is a heck of a figure. I think they're giving a little bit more work into their basics, and I think it really shows. So... Uh, I, like I said, I don't have much else, but that's pretty much my story. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.